to One Left Gym. I've now completed quite a few mods on my wife's new Bronco. And I was thinking about them, and I realized if I had to start all over, I would have definitely made some of them a bigger priority than others. In fact, I think some were so important, I should have had the parts in hand before the Bronco showed up. I've narrowed my list down to my top five of what I'm calling my day one mods, or what I should have installed the first day we got the Bronco. These mods share a few things in common. They can be done very quickly, are relatively cheap, and most importantly, offer some kind of protection to the Bronco. Cleaning the carpeted area in the back just sucks. Within a week, I was already vacuuming up potting soil and cat hair. Don't ask. I swear, everything sticks to the carpet like Velcro. Before something spills back here that you can't easily clean up, I'd recommend a good cargo mat. Insulation takes all of a minute to throw one in here. And if you can, i definitely add in some seat back protectors too, though I don't think they're as critical on day one. And just like the cargo mat, the door sills need some protection. As we found out, it only took a few days for us to get our first scratch in the paint on the door sill. I think this area will be looking really bad in no time unless you get it protected. If you live in a really safe area, park in a garage, or just don't care, then by all means don't get these. But if you're like me and worry that someone's going to steal your Sasquatch 35 inch spare tire because it can be stolen under 30 seconds, then get a set. It's a small price to pay for peace of mind. Okay, a key remote cover is more protection by association. Think of it as your key's last line of defense. They come in all kinds of materials, styles, and colors. They take seconds to put on and are really cheap. I'd rather spend $10 now than two or $300 later for a new remote at Ford. Enough said. Vehicle damage is ridiculously expensive to fix. In the event of an accident, a dash cam might be the only thing that determines who's at fault. In my opinion, a dash cam should be standard equipment on vehicles, and I'm sure will be eventually. A year or so ago, my own dash cam caught a UPS freight truck smashing into a parked pickup and then leaving without reporting it. The dash cam footage I provided the owner saved him a ton. Dash cams have come down so much in price, there's just no excuse anymore. I wired this one in, but that can always be done later. You can get one installed in minutes if you just want to plug it into an accessory port. What do you think? Do you agree with my list or think I'm smoking something? Or both? Did I miss anything really important that needs to be done on day one? Let me and other viewers know in the comments below. Links to all the things in this video will be in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching. See you later.